would happen if we take a balloon, fill it with helium, mm -hmm. and put it in a car? There's our car. And we drive the car into a wall so it stops. What happens to that balloon? I reckon, my experience of cars, everything goes forwards when you suddenly slam on the anchors. Yeah. But I think there's only one way to find out. Oh, that's a bit fruity. How are you going with them? Not bad. I understand why you're messing around with helium there, but why am I doing this with normal? It's hard. <laughs> I figure if we're going to do a proper scientific experiment, we need a control. So if we've got helium balloons in there, and we've got normal balloons in there, it's a good thing for comparing. Okay. That's what I reckon. Oh, where's your balloon? It's gone. That's the problem with them helium balloons. So when we break, I think everything in this van is going to want to go forward. Like we do. Like we do. Because that's Newton's law, isn't it? That uh, you stay in motion, yeah. and you continue in motion, unless a force acts on you. So something's going to happen to the either the blue helium or the red air-filled balloons that well, we break. The only difference between them is that these ones are buoyant in air and those red air ones aren't. Are you ready? Let's try it. Whoa! Well that couldn't Look be more that. obvious. That was amazing. That couldn't be more obvious. That was brilliant. The blue ones, they're filled with helium. Yeah. They went backwards. And those red air filled ones definitely, definitely came forward. came forward, exactly that. Something different is happening because they're filled with a different gas. What I reckon is that when we stop this van, every single thing in this van wants to keep wants going to forward. Wants to carry on going forward. Until something makes it stop. According to Newton, everything continues in its line of motion until something tries, yeah, until something stops. Yeah, that's his first law. So yeah. everything wants to continue going forwards until yeah. something stops it going forwards. Yeah. So that means all the actual air in here wants to go forward until that windscreen stops it going forwards. So it keeps going, hits the windscreen, piles up on the windscreen. Yeah. Yeah. So you end up with higher pressure at this end at than back. you do at that end. And so this little fella, these helium balloons, they feel more air pressure at the front than they do at the back. Well, got no choice but to go backwards, which on the red ones is different. The one's filled with air. But there's still higher pressure on the front than there is at the back. But the mass is overcoming that. Yeah, the mass is overcoming that because it's like a heavier balloon. Yeah. And these are like these are lighter. If we put those on scales, they wouldn't weigh as much as those ones do. I think floating is the significant thing. Yeah. The fact is, because that's the only thing, is like those float in air, those don't float in air, we don't float in air, yeah. so all the things that don't float in air keep going forwards, keep going and all forward, the things yeah. that do float in air keep going backwards. It's like a battle between buoyancy yeah. and acceleration. Do you know that Isaac Newton invented the cat lap? I did, actually. Did and you? I also think it's his greatest work, <laughs> because I don't give a stop about gravity and optics most of the time, but if my cat, who's in the living room, yeah. I'm really annoyed. I bet so, his wife was happy. I bet his wife was over. Enjoyed, it? Yes, they're very funny boys. Except, of course, Newton never actually married. And if he had, perhaps the little woman at home would have told her genius husband he didn't have to make a separate cat flap 